I got it. He's going for a break. No, he's not. No, no he's not. not. We got you. Hey, boys! Get off the ice. Not safe. You're not going Yo, anywhere. Stop. All available trucks. We have a drowning event at Lake St. Louis. 14 year old male, unresponsive and pulseless. You want clear? No pulse. There's nothing more we can do. This is the most powerful, compelling, verifiable, authenticated miracle story in recent history. Period, bar none. Joyce Smith? Yes? We're doing everything we can for your son, but John isn't responding. There her son was without a pulse. She touched his feet, they were completely cold. And she said, you know what? I'm not gonna claim death, I'm about to claim life. He's gone. Send your Holy Spirit to save my son! The EKG machine started going off! Is that he came back to life! I drowned for 15 minutes and then I was without a pulse for an additional 45. So in all, I was dead for over an hour. So far in my life, God had always been and done what he said he could do. And so I just started praying. Mom came in, she prayed, and instantly I had a pulse. Everybody that I explain the plot to gets goosebumps just even thinking about that something like this could happen. It's hard to believe. And I, you know, I'm a part of the story, telling the story, and it's hard for me to believe. Uh, this movie is described as a medical miracle because just that one idea, you know, patient dead, mother prayed, patient came back to life. This is a modern day resurrection story. When Joyce finally gave that complete surrender to God and said, you know, like, you have to take this, there's no question that something miraculous happened. Your son is alive. His pulse is very, very weak. At best, we have a long road ahead. And I'm not gonna lie to you. We're in uncharted territory. It's not just about one miracle. It's about a series of miracles. Those miracles happen to John and to Joyce and that family, but then, like a ripple in a lake, those miracles just keep moving out. The circle keeps getting wider. Oh, this is so wonderful. Wow, look at these prayers. Our church and our friends were phenomenal. There was probably 20 people that had already started gathering. By that evening, there was probably close to 75 to 100 people there, and they were overflowing the waiting room out into the hallway. How people rallied around John and his family in their in a time of need, people being really selfless and sacrificing their time, their resources. The power in the community and power in faith is, is strong, and it's something that this world needs all through and through. We had a prayer vigil with 300 people at the church. And to hear people pray and cry out to God for John, I thought this is what heaven is like. This is probably what heaven is like. They just are believing for God, just the spirit of faith. Prayer is a centerpiece of the story. People coming together praying, believing that God listens and answers our prayers. Simply stated, prayer changes everything. If it be your will. I think the most amazing thing about this movie is that it happened. This isn't fiction. True stories like this make the case for God. The skeptic will say, man, I don't know. Okay, Devon, you know, I know you were involved in heavens for real, but okay, I, I, don't, I don't believe that. Okay, miracles from heaven, I don't know how she got cured when she fell down the tree, but no, nah, I don't think so. Ah, man, but wow, I mean, the kid is alive. Maybe there's something to that. I come from a family of doctors, and this is one of those stories that the medical community knows, and there's no explanation. I mean, it's truly, in that sense, a miracle. We rely on doctors, and I think doctors are great. I mean, they're a huge blessing. But there's a time when they say there's nothing else we can do. And I think it's that moment where God's able to step in, and you see his hand. And the moment she prays, not an hour later, not five days later, the moment she prays, every single apparatus on that boy turns on. There's simply no other explanation. Your son's a miracle. And time.